Sorry for the delay on this one, but Studio Wildcard posted Community Crunch number 360, and it does so beg to be teased. So, let's take a look at the new and improved Ark Survival Ascended tree. What do we call these big things? Trees? Trees, that's right. Don't be afraid to shout them right out when you know. Now, what are these thousands of little things that are on trees? Leaves. My cousin Vinny. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend it. Anyways, we've got little bits of news tucked away in this week's Community Crunch. We've got sponsored mods, and at long last, Ark Survival has sent its first new creature added with Scorched Earth. So, let's dive into it all, and of course, I've got some thoughts on it along the way. What's going on everybody? It's with Tinnabuzz Life Beer, and welcome back to the channel. Now before we began my last ARC upload just a few days ago, I thanked you for the wild levels of support you've been showing them, and that continues to be the norm. In fact, the very first ARC video I posted right around April 1st of this year crossed a significant milestone for views. Anyways, the support from the ARC community has been tremendous, the amount of comments you ladies and gentlemen post is overwhelming, and so... Again, thank you for the support. All right, community crunch item number one, the tree. I mean, yeah, it does look better. The bark structures are more highly detailed as are the leaves. I do wonder how this will look and perform on the new Unreal Engine 5 game files, especially when it comes to servers and things like Poppin. And as a longtime PVPer, most of these environmental enhancements are lost on players like me. I can see players getting into this new ASA game, turning everything down to as low as possible and spiking their frame rates, all for the sake of seeing targets at distance and getting the jump on them. In fact, leaves, bushes, and the like are not wanted by the PvP crowd as they impair vision. Sorry about that, I didn't mean to jump off on a PvP tangent there, I'm just speaking out loud. Anyways, looking back over the Community Crunch post, in number 356 and 357, we got the Rhino Onatha concept art as the community creature winner, which was advertised as the last new creature to be added to Ark Survival Evolved coming up this June, which is, by the way, the final content update for ASE. Number 358 is where the community creature voting opened up, so nothing new was shown for ASA. And number 359, which was last week, is where we got to see the reworked drop pod concepts from ASE to ASA, along with this Carnotaurus leather saddle concept. And I guess this is how Wildcard wants to play this. Drip feeds leading up to the launch of Ark Survival Ascended, of which they touch on in the text portions for this week's post. Quote, this week we'll be taking a look at foliage that's been remastered in Ark Survival Ascended and captured in Unreal Engine 5. Things are really sprucing up, aren't they? Ugh. Uh, anyways, keep an eye out on future community crunches because every other week, listen to that again, because every other week we'll be revealing new assets so you get an artistic impression of what remaster means in Ark Survival Ascended. Then they've got a picture and they continue on with the text below that. Question, where is the gameplay? Answer, we'll be showcasing gameplay shortly before release. Hmm, okay. Next question, is this all you've done? Answer, no, we've done much more, but we're just showing you a glimpse behind the curtain. You'll see more in the weeks ahead and when we launch. Now, we could call this a textbook antithetical response to what ARC players truly want. Wildcard knows exactly what they have to do and what you want to see. Actual UE5 Arc Survival Ascended live gameplay footage. But instead, they plan on giving you the very opposite. Instead of every week, they state every other week. And in terms of gameplay footage, and this is concerning, quote, we'll be showcasing gameplay shortly before release. So, we don't know exactly when ASA is going to launch, right? Will it launch on time in August? We don't know the exact date yet, or is it going to be delayed? And I know some of you are already expecting a delay. But on top of that, there will be a gameplay showcase only shortly before ASA releases. But in the meantime, here's a reworked drop pod, leather saddle, and a tree to keep you satisfied. 
I'll keep my eyes open for any details on this one in the coming weeks. But now it's time to take a look at the new creature, voted and picked by you to be added to Scorched Earth for Ark Survival Ascended, the Facilisuchus. Now, as you can see from the 10 rounds of voting, this was a runaway victory, and damn do you guys seem to love your carnivores. This beast is already available to view in the additional creatures mod, and I wonder if some of you voted for this tank based on its attacks and immunities. Bites inflict bleed, of course. It also has a headbutt parry that does a sizable amount of knockback and is capable of knocking other players off their mounts. Facilisuchus is also immune to electrocution, bleeding, fire, radiation, and sandstorms, the final being handy for Scorched Earth. The concept art and the creature model and additional creatures do have some differences though, namely the spiked armor across the back, and there is no word as to if the current immunities will carry into Ark Survival Ascended, but overall, a pretty wild addition to the live game once ASA launches. And to round out this week's Community Crunch are the addition of these three sponsored mods, which will receive support from Wildcard and, in their words, help reach a polished, stable, and functional state. First up is Paintball by Red Dwarf, built for fast-paced arena-style combat, even on PvE servers, because, in case you didn't know, paint doesn't kill. And according to the mod description, it is inspired by old FPS games like Doom, Quake, Unreal Tournament, Marathon, and Golden Eye, which are all incredible titles. So if Paintball plays anything like those mentioned games, it should be a ton of fun. Now, if they can just get some of those iconic Unreal Tournament sound effects, it would truly be a wild mode. Headshot. Damn, that never gets old. Next mod up is Tania Stella, the Renewal Alpha, and I apologize, I'm probably going to butcher this pronunciation, Rajan which is an arc world mutated by the erosion of the parasitic meteorite Rosaria. Now overall, this world is heavily saturated in color, and I've never personally seen this one in action, but it does look very well done. It also sports a huge biome list, so this thing looks to be enormous in scale. And finally, there is Narandil by Yute, which is another beautiful mod looking to overlay portions of Avatar onto Ark. You've got the blue forest, floating mountains, and tons of nighttime bioluminescence. Now, each of these mods are truly unique, and just throwing a thought out here, completely breaking from script, but with ASA seemingly months away, and who knows, a possible delay on the horizon, maybe one or all of these mod creators could render some live footage in UE5 and post it for us all to see, just to kind of wet the lips. You know what I'm saying? Now, what I don't see here again is actual gameplay footage, like anything with motion from Ark Survival Ascended. And curiously, I also don't see a follow-up to this week's news that Ark 2 was delayed, of course, based on that digital download annual report stating that Ark 2 would go live in spring 2025. Now I know about, and of course I reported on it in my last ARC upload, that a wildcard spokesperson released a statement to Games Radar questioning the date, spring 2025, claiming it was a typo, but here again was another golden opportunity to further clarify the situation through the community crunch, and again, there's just nothing addressing that situation. Anyways, I look forward to reading your feedback about the new ARC Survival Ascended Tree, and Facilisuchus. Sound off in the comment section below. If you happen to like the video, maybe consider hitting subscribe and ringing the notifications bell to receive my latest upload alerts. Also, if you could take a few seconds more to rate and or share this video, it would be greatly appreciated. You can find and follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and over in my open community Discord server, links to all of which can be found in the video description and pinned comments below. Shout out to the over 120,000 of you that have taken the leap and hit subscribe, and as always, a special thanks to my patrons over on Patreon. Until the next one, this is Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer, signing off.